Hi there, I'm Jane Christoffi at Right Track Educational Services in Toronto, Canada. I'm a teacher and educational strategist and I know a lot about the SSAT, so I'm here to help you with a bit of prep. Do you know the difference between the imperial and metric systems of measurement? As a citizen of the world, it's smart to develop a solid grasp of both of these systems. As you probably already know, most countries in the world use the metric system, while only a few use imperial, such as the United States, Liberia, Myanmar, and the UK uses some imperial even though they've officially ad adopted metric. If you're an international travel traveler, you'll need an understanding of both systems, as well as if you're a reader and you keep up with current events. As a student preparing for the SSAT, I urge you to acquaint yourself with the one system that you don't use regularly. If you're Canadian, get to know Imperial. If you're American, get to know the metric system. There may be questions on the SSAT referencing jargon or measurement comparisons between the two systems. The SSAT is written and scored in the US. Some of its math and verbal questions may reference the Imperial system. However, the test writers also may include references to the metric system. For example, in this um, verbal analogy puzzle, the stem sentence says, pint is to quart. A pint and a quart are both units of measurement for volume in Imperial. I'm gonna make my relationship sentence, a pint is smaller than a quart. Let's try that relationship sentence with all of the five answer options. A dime is smaller than a money, doesn't work. A minute is smaller than an hour. That does work. Let's see what happens with the rest of the options. Metric is smaller than a centimeter, nope. Ounce is smaller than a volume, nope. Gram is smaller than a pound, nope. You can see how they've intermixed metric and imperial within the answers I'm going to choose B because the relationships fit together perfectly. I want st students to grasp both systems jargon um, and, and get to know how one system's units relates to the units in another system. For example, a mile would be compared maybe to a kilometer. Those are both similar units in two different systems. Since the SSAT is used as an admissions tool for independent schools from around the globe, students not educated in the U.S. need to learn to use Met Imperial. And students in the U.S. need to learn about metric. Whether you're an American or somebody from another country, be prepared for the possibility that SSAT writers will reference and compare units of measurement in these two systems. And learn both anyway, not just for the SSAT, but so you can be a worldly person whose knowledge of the world around you grows continuously. So best of luck on your SSAT. And when you're ready to do the SAT, I'd love you to come visit me again. Take care, good luck.